<laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> hey. Oh, Harold, yeah. Uh, he's a nice young boy, yeah. Uh, he's actually, he's a really brave young boy, uh, considering he still works with Bruce Willis's ghost to come to terms with seeing dead people. <laughs> that was a Sixth Sense joke. <laughs> I got that. I got that one. That was pretty good. Mike, Mike. <laughs> Mike kind of looks like a fucked up Nazi experiment, doesn't he? <laughs> when, I, when I first met Mike and he told me he was from Des Plaines, I was like, what, you're not born in Chernobyl? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with your face, dude? It's the part Jew, that's, uh, yeah, one quarter, yeah. No, uh, Harold Patrick uh, is actually a stage name. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, his real name is actually uh, Harold Johnson. Yeah, yeah, that's true. He's Harry Johnson. Yeah. Ladies. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's somewhat ironic considering he still hasn't gotten his pubes. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mike, uh, Mike's walks, Mike <laughs> walks dogs and does stand up for a living. Well, he calls it a living. Other people call it giving up on living. That's, that's actually <laughs> what it is. Yeah, the dogs love me every day. It's great. Uh, yeah. You look like the dogs you walk, dude. <laughs> yeah, some of them are fat. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, like, Harold just lives in like this house in Chicago with like all these generations of a family. Like. Uh, like, his mom has caught him masturbating so many times. Like, she's starting to get suspicious. Harold, if your mom wants to see you masturbating, she will go to the bus station like everyone else. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I know she'll see you there too, so it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but Mike was actually, he's actually a survivor of John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> This is, this is true, this is true. The only, the only reason he survived is because Gacy was like, dude, even you're creeping me out. Uh, <laughs> you want me to do what? <laughs> dude, that's, a, that's a real quote from John Wayne Gacy. It was my cunning. Uh, no, uh, you know, Harold is a very slight little fellow. He's always slouched over, you know. Uh, in Chicago, uh, they call his uh, conditions uh, Harold's Chicken Wing Shoulder Blades. <laughs> that was pretty good. Dude. That, <laughs> uh, I really wish I had to come back for that one. That was, that was not wrong. Um, <laughs> Mike, I'm surprised his eyes are open because usually he, he does stand up with his eyes closed. It's a real thing. Uh, but he says that because he doesn't like to see the audience. Uh, which is kind of a coincidence because the audience doesn't like to hear his stand up. So, <laughs> so he's blind, you're deaf, it, it all works out. You know? That means nothing to them. They've never seen my stand up. Uh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, like, uh, as young as he is, like, his mom, like, tried to get him into show business at an even younger age. Like, he almost got the part of young Sheldon. Uh, yeah. Uh, except that no one believed he, uh, he'd eventually be smart or ever have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to be here, guys. Um, it's good to be here. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people think that Mike is drunk all the time, and he's, it, to be honest, he's literally like this all the time. He's like, he's stone cold sober right now. I'm not, even, I'm not even joking with you. I'll know he's drunk because he'll just start slow dancing by himself. <laughs> with his eyes closed, he'll just be like, just swaying, just vibing, dude. It's the best part is one time I seen a girl walk up to him and try and dance with him, and he didn't even open his eyes. He just pushed her away slowly. <laughs> And just kept went back to dancing. <laughs> He's a cool guy. Yeah, know. yeah, it's a vibe, yeah. Uh, no, uh, Harold, uh, he lives at home. Uh, he likes to shoot guns. 
Uh, and actually, uh, he's really into prep sports, yeah, believe it or not. Uh, but for some reason, the only scores he talks about are from Columbine and Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. <laughs> I can't say anything that'll bring it back. Dude. I, my, Mike, I, I'm really a big fan of you, dude. I, I loved your work in Ghostbusters as a marshmallow man. You were do, you're doing really, good, doing really good work. And you were a lot of help when me and my friends went looking for that pirate ship in a cave. Uh, I'll, <laughs> that's a Goonies reference. <laughs> Last joke. All right. Now, Harold, he really is onto big, bright things. Uh, I only regret uh, that Hillary Swank will be too old to play him in his biopic. <laughs> yeah. Boys don't cry, Harold. <laughs> oh, man. Mike, I love you a lot, brother. I love your teeth, too. I just, I wish they loved each other, you know? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, it's like two, it's like two siblings in a fight. Dude. It's like, it's like one tooth is Israel, the other one's Palestine. You got the Gaza Strip in the middle. <laughs> All, right. All right, give it up for them, everybody. That's the first battle of the night. Oh man, good shit. <laughs> give it up for Slim and Jim. Yeah, you know? give it up. For them. It's good to see you working together again. Uh, no, really, though, that was the first battle of the night, and they were a fill-in battle for a drop -in, so they had less than a week to write those jokes. So please, one more time for them. Give it up before we turn to the panel. OK, Chris Grieco, you got the mic. Let's hear it. What do you have to, who are we voting for? Mm, this was fun. Listen, Mike, you do look like you're trying to lure him into your van. <laughs> I'll go. I, he doesn't you lure won't. me. It, it's, you, you also got that vibe of like the cool janitor at high school that like everyone kind of talked to a little bit. And Harold, you look like you're about to warn him to not come to school tomorrow. So this was amazing. Mike, was this your first roast battle? Yes, it was. Yeah. Give it up for him for doing it first time. Wow. Great work. Dude, I, Harold, you had it in the beginning. Then Mike, you had him in the second half. Uh, but honestly, at the very end, I think Harold squeaked it out with the teeth joke. So I'm giving it to Harold. Great job. All right. Mr. Patrick, take Ruddy, let's hear. Hey, all right, no one's gonna get this, but Mike, you look like Todd from Breaking Bad. <laughs> right, the dude? Yeah, I get that. I hear a lot. Oh, Jesse Plemons, yeah. that's his name. Actually, on some older people, you look like Ox from Like Mike. Who saw Like Mike? God, he does. Okay. Okay, anyway, nobody wins this battle. Um, no, this was good. Um, this was, uh, you know, it, it happened. And um, I thought, uh, I don't know. I think, Mike, I don't think, uh, I like how you told your jokes. I think you thought they were funny. But everyone else was like, is this guy serious or not? Not a mean way. I did some laugh. <laughs> Yeah, it's me. Oh yeah, it's, oh, it's a roast battle. Actually, Mike, go fuck yourself, okay? This is, your jokes were very funny. Harold, you were very good too, but I think, uh, I actually think Mike uh, walked away with this one. Let me oh, give it to Mike. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah, you're just making up for the Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please don't murder me. All right, one for one. <laughs> Daniel. Um, I like you guys. Yeah, this looks like every grinder meetup at the Republican National Convention. <laughs> It's great. Uh, the, the guy you were talking about, is that the same guy from Stuart Little? Yeah, that's uh, Jonathan. Jonathan Lipnicki. Yeah, you look like if he descended into alcoholism. <laughs> great. Um, okay, no more movie <laughs> references. No anyway, more movie all right, yeah, let's get moving. Um, yeah, uh, Harold, you were really strong in the beginning, and then you took it in the middle for sure. You you got some pops, but Harold, I think ultimately in the end, you were you got the more pops. I'll go with Harold. Super. But great job, both of you. Uh, hello, uh, it's great, Chicago, thank you for having me. Um, uh, I think you guys are both just ahead of your time, honestly. I think you're gonna hit your stride just about when Peyton loses the weight. Um, you guys, I just love watching two artists battle it out. Uh, Harold, Harold, I need to say this to you, we're cool. 
You and me, we're cool. Like we got, I got no beef with you at all. Like we're you, do whatever you gotta do. But we, you and me, just remember this. Remember this, we are cool. We're cool? We are, all right, all cool. Right. Settled that. Um, I'm gonna be watching your hands all night. <laughs> Mike, you're, Mike, I think Mike took it, honestly. I think Mike took I just loved him in Sling Blade. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, I, movie references are fun. They're fun to do. He needs to get back to doing his job doing small engine repair. So Mike, uh, Mike took it. Thank you so much for having me in the city of Chicago. Okay, we got another for Mike. We got a tiebreaker then, huh? Oh, right. Hey guys, good job. Mike, you're, you're like the grizzled old meth dealer, you know, that lives in his basement. And Harold is like the young twink who's like trying to get in the game, you know? Like maybe a couple favors for some meth, you know what I mean? That's cool. Uh, the chicken wing joke, hell yeah, he's skinny, that was very funny, the, but the Goonies joke, ah, man, that was so good, everybody got it, you didn't have to mention the movie, that was pretty good, and then, I think he got you with the teeth thing, dude, so I'm gonna, and, and Mike, you know, you introduced me to your coke dealer, so I love you, buddy, but, uh, I gotta give it to Harold, you know? Harold!